everyone. Uh, it's Alex here. So today we are hopefully getting our EVSC installed on uh, which one uh, did I choose to get? Well, here it is. It's actually the uh, Grizzle E Classic Charger. There it is. So this will hopefully be installed. Looks like the installers are here. I uh, don't know if they'll let me record, but uh, we'll see. All right, so looks like uh, we're here with Lens Electric. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and, there's Len right there. Gonna go ahead and install the uh, 240 line. It's gonna go up across. 50 amps, 240. 50 amps, 240, got it. It's gonna go through here. It's gonna punch a hole through there. And it'll come around here straight over punch a hole in that wall then it's gonna go into the garage and just come out right here and there it is so it'll be it'll go right there and the cord right here um not sure if I'm gonna keep the car on this side or go back to this side, but I really gotta get rid of all this junk. I'm gonna get a storage shed. Cause uh, eventually my wife, um, my wife might actually be getting her own electric car. So we'll see about that. Um, we do have a, a down payment on it. I'm not gonna say what kind, which one it is right now. It's definitely not gonna be another Mach-E. So we're gonna give the, uh, C-Max uh, Titanium Energy to my son because his old Mazda 6 is really run down. And uh, she's gonna get a new electric car. That all depends on how we do with the Mach-E, really. I mean, I work from home. Um, I had, used to have a 2018 Dodge Charger. Uh, you know, since this uh, thing that ends in endemic started, we've been working from home. So I really never had a need to to drive my car. I drove it maybe once every couple of weeks. I mean, we drive on the weekends because, you know, it's nice and roomy. Uh, other than that, it would just stay in the garage all the time. Um, so we might just be okay with one car. Uh, her, the one we ordered for her is about six months out right now you know, because of all the shortages and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, and, between that time, between now and that time, we'll, we'll see if we actually need a second car. Uh, if not, we just might stick with Maki and cancel our order. But um, you know, if we do, I'll, we post some videos of that. Maybe compare them. Uh, it's a different manufacturer, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, so you know, like saying the uh, HOA doesn't want anything shown in the front, so that's that we're going behind the wall. And then I am getting the whole house painted because the HOA requires it uh, in a couple of months so you know the whole conduit should be painted over and stuff so hopefully the HOA doesn't say anything I don't think they can tell me I don't think they can tell me what to put in my house but you know it's HOA so what do I know yeah right now I've been getting about three and a half miles per hour charging the uh, Mustang on a regular 120 so hopefully this will get me I got the uh, 40 amp charger 50 amp breaker so probably about 30 miles per hour but uh, yeah we'll go ahead and see how it goes looks like they're almost done you guys got it through we got her through yeah. that's good so it looks like so far. We got nothing. You mean we're going to toggle? We can't go with the toggle, can we? We got anything there. Maybe there if I go over here. Maybe longer. 
You don't know, you know, what you're going to get, you know. Yeah, it's just hollow in there. No, holy stuff. There we go. I got it back there. No, man, that's good. That's solid. That's nice. I'm good there, and I would put, I'm going to get one more over there. That's all we're going to need. Yeah, got the line there. Almost done. All right, so they are done. Let's check out her handiwork. So, there it is, EV charger, 50 amp circuit. Run it up the wall. There, came out here, patched it up, all the way through here, and then, now it's here, so, it's all set, it's charging right now, plugged in, should be at 40 amps, so that should charge at 32. Looked in there to see if I could get a charging rate on the uh, in the car, but it doesn't really show anything. Whoa. Settings, charge. You know it's taking forever, Lou. All right. So it's at ninety-two percent. So it was at ninety. Plugged it in maybe like ten minutes ago after they got done. Now it says it's at 92%, but I don't see anywhere where you can see like the charging rate, how many amps it's actually receiving. Maybe I just don't know where to look. Or maybe this just doesn't do it that way. It doesn't show you anything. Uh, There's nothing else I can go to. So, I think maybe just the Mach-E doesn't show you that information, but it's all done, it's set, it is working, it is charging, uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, holder here, kind of install that myself, he didn't do that, he did install the charger and everything for me, so that was cool. But uh, yeah, now we got level two charging in our home and now we'll have uh, faster charging times. Instead of three and a half miles, hopefully around 30 or so. So uh, that'll be it. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay, so I ended the video a little prematurely, I think. I uh, just want to assure everybody I got the uh, holder set up um might be a little too far right there I like how that hangs but you know i want to put the holder close to where the uh charger port is on the car uh also uh, i guess i was wrong about um how fast it charges, I guess at 40 amps, uh, the Mach-E will return about, well, recharge about uh, 25 miles or so.
uh, level two charger. Uh, my wife did take it uh, grocery shopping earlier. Uh, she came, when she came back, I plugged it in and in 51 minutes, it got 22 miles of range back according to the app. So yeah, probably about 25 or so. So this one little up, Fred Claus did a little update, got the holder set up um, and it's all done. Yeah, level two.